Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making a video tutorial in Ubuntu Basics explaining how to use Unicenter Point of Sale program. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show how you can change the denominations of coins and notes of paper currency for your own country. I live in the United States of America and we have bills and coins that are of different denomination than comes with this program. Let me just put in a drink, $2.16 and when I hit either the equal sign or the space bar I'm going to get a screen up here which will allow me to select from among the different kinds of coins and bills and these are not United States currency coins and bills and I want to change not only the pictures of the coins and bills but also the denominations because in the United States we do not have certain of these coins or bills we do have a one penny coin and that's one one hundredth of a US dollar but we do not have a two penny coin we have a five cent coin that's called a nickel we have a ten cent coin that's called a dime a tenth of a dollar we do not have a twenty cent coin we have a twenty five cent coin and we call it a quarter we have a fifty cent coin a half of a dollar and very rarely you will see a one dollar coin we do have a one dollar bill. We also very rarely have a two dollar bill. We have a five, a ten, a twenty, a fifty, and we also have a one hundred dollar bill. And the way these things work is is you have a bill of two hundred uh, two dollars and sixteen cents and if the customer gives you any denomination you can put it in here or more conveniently if he gives you a ten you just tap and it computes the change. If he changes his mind and he says wait a minute I've got a five you can do it like this or he says wait a minute I have got uh, a couple singles and a and a fifty cent piece and that's how much you pay him. You see how convenient that is but what I want to do now is I want to go in and I want to change the amounts and when I do that I'm going to go here into maintenance and I'm going to go to resources and I want to go to a, a certain screen. Before going to that screen I just want to show you the images. That's the two dollar coin, the one dollar, uh, one penny coin and so on. And uh, there are the uh, notes of currency and the coins of currency. But what I want to do is go to this one screen right here that says cash uh, it's a payment dash dot cash and I'm going to add and subtract and alter as needed for the various kinds of currency and it'll just take me a second I've got a penny but you know what I don't have a two penny coin so I'm going to delete that line I do have a, f a five cent a ten cent I do not have a 20 but I do have a 25 so I'm just going to change that to a 5. I have a half dollar coin and a one dollar coin. Now for notes I've got a one dollar bill. Very 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 rarely you will see a two dollar bill in the United States. A 5, a 10, a 20, a 50 and quite often we will see a one hundred dollar bill these days so I'm just going to copy and paste. Uh, I'm holding down the shift key, down arrow, control C, copy, up arrow, control V, paste, get rid of that blank line, and then I'm going to change this denomination to a 100. I could add the uh, $2 coin, but let me see how many I've got. I've got, in terms of lines, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. If I add one more uh, item to that, the two dollar note of currency, I'm not going to have an even number of lines and since the two dollars is so extremely rare, I'm just going to leave it off. Now this is pink up here and I'm going to hit save and then I have to exit the program 
and when I exit the program that will stop my recording and I'm going to log out so let me just stop my recording and then I will come back and I'll see you in one second well here I am back again and let me see if this works I will put in a drink again and then I'm going to hit equals let me zoom in on this and see what it looks like and we'll try it out here's my one penny coin five penny coin ten penny coin a dime that's a nickel a 25 cent coin the image is incorrect a half dollar a one dollar coin a one dollar bill a five dollar bill I left out the two dollar bill a ten a twenty a fifty a hundred and you'll notice these are the same because I have not changed the image yet so but let's see if everything works let's say the guy owes us two dollars and sixteen cents and the customer hands us a one hundred shazam it works clear oh let me see what did we not have before oh we didn't have a one dollar bill dollar dollar and change it's not computing the change you see what's happening there something's wrong I have a one dollar bill and I, I am showing that he is giving me two dollars but it is not correctly computing the change so we're going to have to go into the program a little bit more and figure that out it does do the 100 it does do change for the 50 it does do change for the 20 the 10 five but the one's not working why I do not know oh because it wasn't enough clear enough boy am I dull clear entry the man owes us two dollars and sixteen cents I give a dollar I give another dollar I give a third dollar now it's giving us the correct amount gracious me I'm not much of a shopkeeper am I well I am not changing the images of the coins and bills yet this just shows how this business works so that you can change the denominations the rest of this is kind of like window dressing isn't it my name is pop and I have a whole bunch of videos on YouTube called Ubuntu basics and I have been showing how to do Unicenta and I thank you very very much